Hello mga kaibigan, today is ating alamin What is the head pressure? Okay, halimbawa meron po tayo ditong uh, pressure gauge at the bottom of the water column Alamin po natin kung ano ang pressure na mag-register po ito sa pressure gauge Kapag nagyan po natin ng pressure gauge with, with an gauge valve ito at the base of the water column Okay, assume po natin na ang ating water column is Uh, pipe okay pipe size po niya is 4 inches okay yan po yung ating assumption the pipe is 4 inches ang kanyang height is 32 meter para malaman po natin o aalamin natin kung ano ang uh, pressure at the base of the water column para malaman po natin Kapag tayo ay bibili ng bomba, usually ang pump, ang water pump, ang kanyang pressure is naka-indicate po sa kanyang flight at ito po ay in terms of meter, okay? Meter head, nakalagay doon, maximum head, let's say 32, 45, 52, at least kapag tayo bibili ng pump, alam po natin yung maximum uh, PSI na pwedeng ibigay po o i-deliver ng water pump, okay? So, ang topic natin ngayon is head pressure. Okay, alam niyo po natin ano ang pressure at the base of the water column. So, alam natin na uh, ang density of water is 62.4 pounds per cubic feet, okay? And then, assume natin ang area ng circle, okay, area of circle is pi r squared. O, dito kayo naman, gamitin natin ang diameter or Pi, that is 3.14 16 okay d over 2 kasi radius po yan so ang radius is equal to d over 2 so squared meron tayo exponent 2 sa taas po ng d over 2 so ang kalalabasan po yan is pi d squared over 4 i-complete po natin yung area po ng pi 4 inches okay Mayroon po tayo itong formula, pi, okay, 4 squared over 4, okay? Yung 2 at the base, at the bottom, is squared natin po yan. 2 by 2 times 2, kaya naging 4 po yan. So, meron tayong 5, 4, okay, 4 squared over 4. Cancel po natin yung 4. Matitala po yung exponent. Meron dito exponent 1. Doon man sa taas is 2. So, cancel po yan. Magiging 1 na lang yan. So, lalabas po rito is... 4 pi, okay, 4 times pi, so ang total na area is 12.6 square inches, okay. Ngayon, i-convert naman natin yan in square meter, okay, 12.6 square inch. Okay, divide natin ng 144, lalabas po yan is 0.088 square feet. And then, i-convert natin sa meter squared, so meron tayong 0.088 times, okay, dibay natin po yan ng 10.758, okay, cancel po dito ang square feet, lalabas po ang square meter, so ang magiging area is 0.008 square meter, yan po yung area ng tubo at the base of the water column, so nakuha na po natin yung uh, yung area at the base of the water column. Okay? Gamitan natin ang formula. Okay? Ang volume po ng water column is pi d squared over 4 times height. So, meron na po tayo na ko ditong area. 0.008. Okay? Ginamit po natin yan. Gagamitin natin 0.008 square meter times po ng 32 meter. Okay? Yung volume kasi, yung area times the height of the water column. So, 0.008 square meter times po natin 32 meter height of the water column. So, ang lalabas po yan is 0.256 cubic meter. Yan po yung total volume po ng water inside the water column. Ngayon, i-convert po natin yan in pounds. Okay, meron po tayo rin itong ang kada pounds is meron po siyang volume na 0.00045 cubic meter. Okay? Multiply po natin siya. Cancel po ang cubic meter. Lalabas po is pounds. Ang total pounds niya, yung weight is 
168.889 okay, pounds. Ngayon, yung area at the base of the water column is 12.6. Idabay po natin yan doon sa nakon natin weight ng water column. Okay, 568.889 pounds. Ito yung bigat ng water column. Idabay natin ang area at the base of the water column is 12.6 square, uh, square inch. So, meron po tayong PSI at the base of the water column is 45.150 Tumutugma po doon sa aking computation regarding the pump on my last video on my previous video pala so we have the pressure is 45.15 PSI for a water head of 32 meters Okay, gaya lang po kadali ang mag-compute ng head pressure. Compared po natin yan sa PSI. Ngayon kung, kung other than 32, okay, palitan lang po natin itong 32. Okay, multiply po natin sa 0.008 okay, square meter. Kasi ito is 50, gawin natin 50 po yan. So magbabago lang po dito yung, yung uh, weight. Okay, magbabago po yan. Pero yung pressure is, yung pressure is magbabago kasi nag-increase nag ka po ng height of the water column. Okay, yung pressure at the base of the water column is, it depends on the height of the water column. Pag mababa ang water column, mababa rin po ang pressure at the base of the water column. Assuming this one is only 20, mas mababa po yan sa 45.15 PSI. Okay, yan lang po mga kaibigan. Thank you very much for watching.